All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, so, back with the third uh, career episode. Uh, I didn't do any voiceover for the second one, so uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there still hasn't been an update for the game. Uh, there's been a couple of updates on the Steam and and Switch versions, but they've more so been to catch up for where the PS4 and Xbox One versions are. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, many many knee strains in the last game for my opponent and still managed to lose. Uh, the first set was pretty competitive and then I just I started trying things in the second set which you know seemingly didn't pay off losing 6-1. Um, yeah so gonna see what training is like. Yeah, so week five I am going to try whatever this tournament is in in Rome. Uh, it says travel fatigue fifty two percent, so I don't know how that's going to go exactly, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how we go. You got so hot on the court, and injury was always on the guards. We need to get you a good rehab team. Have a look into your options, and let's get you healthy yeah. again. Yeah, because that knee strain was, was just absolutely, absolutely demolished me. Uh, thing is, I can't, aff <laughs> I can't afford. It, it's all well and good to do that, that cutscene, but I can't afford a physio or a, or a trainer or a sports scientist and this, that, and the other, or a coach or a nutritionist. I can't afford these things. Um, We've got no access to sponsors and things like that yet, so, you know, it is what it is. So, we'll progress. Uh, begin a training minigame to increase level caps on your skills. Uh, so, I'm not worried, really worried about serves. I'll go with forehand topspin. I'll do target multiplier. Usually, usually the the one I did in the first game. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long to load. So for this video, I'll probably just do the the two training things, and then I'll and then I'll do the the start of the Rome tournament in the next video. So this one will probably be a lot shorter than some of the other the first two video I think the first video was like 18 19 minutes second video was like 15 so far I've only been recording for three and a bit minutes so oh come on great shot apparently Great shot again, apparently, even though I'm not timing it. Yeah, so it's the same premise as the first game with training by the looks of it. Nothing has changed. That one. Yeah, oh, really? Did I? Oh, come on. So the, the, not much has changed from the first first game in terms of training. It's still it, it's still exactly the same. Yes, I know I miss. God. And I th okay, that's the end of it. Yeah. So it, it is a little bit disappointing not to see any updates yet. I mean the tournament itself starts on Monday and we haven't seen anything yet for the PS4 and Xbox One versions. Um, evidently they are working on the AI issue with uh, like severe lack of unforced errors and whatever else, I'm not sure. Um, so 
hopefully that's rectified. Uh, what's my stamina? Uh, I mean, I might as well just do another training week because it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, so I'll do... See, the thing is, with, like, top spin is one of the easiest ways to to get a winner so far in the game with the way the AI is at the moment. So I might as well keep uh, keep working on top spin. Oh, I just did number. Uh, oh well, we'll try we'll try this one. I find it easiest to do the the sort of grouping sort of thing where you you know you just you don't even have to time it that well and you seemingly you know you seemingly don't really fail the objective in the in training so like I remember with like things like FIFA and things like that uh, and NBA 2K and other various games training is it's not as straightforward um, it is quite easy to to mess it up uh, I can't remember what it's like for Big Ants cricket games exactly um, I think you more just had to play matches to to upgrade really Oh yeah, I've got to hit the first one, don't I? Uh, dear, this isn't going well so far. There we go. Nope. There we go, got it. That's too deep. Too deep. Got it. Alright, that's the first sequence done. What's the next sequence going to be? Oh dear. No. Yep, got that one. Not too deep. Nope, that's a fucking forehand. And it accepted it for some reason. That's an example where that stab shot is, is it really needs to go. curious to see what like how they actually managed to uh, rectify that because uh, yeah apparently that that is just a, a backup for when you know so that your player does hit the ball no matter what even if they're in a bad position I, like honestly I'd rather I said in my live stream last night um, I would rather see the ball just hit the player compared to Seeing that stab shot, I'd, ra I'd just rather I'd rather see it hit the player. Oh god, I'm struggling here. Oh no. Couldn't get much closer up the court. Further up the court. Oh, I missed it. And is that it? Yes, that's it. Yeah, so like it's gonna take me a while to actually, you know, get like coaches and physios and all that sort of stuff because until you start winning tournaments or winning those challenger tournaments, but I mean, most of the time early on in your career, particularly with the first game and now this game, you're gonna wanna upgrade your stats, which costs money. So it it's better to just focus on that rather than some of the management things in a way so like I've got 666 bucks which is not enough to upgrade anything it's not enough to buy a coach or anything like that so um, and like see the, these are the main things all the other stats like forehand backhand all that sort of stuff, doesn't really matter these are the stats that end up mattering most and it I think you only get to upgrade them after you play a certain amount of matches and then it'll be the same amount of matches before you can upgrade it again so until you get that option you're really stuck where you are so it, it's a little bit yeah I don't know but anyway that's gonna do it for this one uh, yeah like I said relatively short video just showing a bit of the training and I will see you in the next one for the Rome tournament.